Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to San Marshuno for Let's Build the Worlds. We are continuing on with Deja and Dolores' apartment today. A few changes. I've actually put Deja into the entertainer career so she can further her musical talents. And the wonderful Dolores is getting into a bit of knitting on her armchair while daydreaming about her secret love in the apartment building. Well, hello there, my darlings. Happy Wednesday. Welcome back to Deja and Dolores's apartment. We are going to continue on with this today. Furnish the bedrooms and also the bathroom as well. You guys had some really great ideas last time. One of your ideas that I really, really liked. I'm going to pop it up on the screen now. Um, about making Deja's room just a little bit overcrowded because she split up with her boyfriend. Maybe just having a bit too much stuff in her room at the minute. So it's not kind of settled. It's a little bit messy here and there maybe like she's just moved back home and maybe her mum had to shuffle the furniture around or maybe even like keep some stuff in storage or stuff so Deja could have her own bits and bobs in the actual apartment itself <sighs> I'm vibing with that idea so obviously last time we finished off the kitchen a few things changed here and there I don't know if you noticed because I forgot to mention it but I changed out that runner rug that was here and I've gone for that one just because the colors kind of reflect on the room a little bit more and I'm kind of vibing with that the window is back to normal thank the lord thank you for you guys who um told me to use this here and it um sorts the windows out i don't know that because i'm to be honest with you guys i've not really built many apartments in um the sims full stop so i'm looking forward to the safe file just for that to be honest um but yeah and then obviously as i said bathroom as well so we're gonna do the two bedrooms i think what we'll do is start off with dolores's um bedroom it is the bigger one I'm definitely going to see this. this is a bit of a glam moment. She is a very glamorous sim herself. So I think I'm going to use a lot of maybe like art deco pieces here and there. A definite makeup station if we can fit it in somewhere. Um, and maybe the new art deco type bed as well. I think that's what we're going to do. So uh, let me pull a few bits out and we'll, we'll start, loves. We'll bloody make a start. Why am I absolutely vibing with that bed being in here? Again, a mixture of colours everywhere, but I really love the swatch on that bed. So we're going to do it, loves. We are going to do it. We're going to do use this bed here for Dolores. I don't know what bed I'm going to use for Deja just yet. I have no idea. I'm sure it will come to me. Now, putting this in the middle, it will kind of reflect on the room nicely. But, and it will also give us a chance to be able to use one of these makeup things and also put a wardrobe in quite nice. So that's what we're going to do. Using this one here from um, Vintage Glamour. Probably one of my favorite stuff packs. I just love that stuff pack. Uh, not only just for the objects. I really like the butler kind of like gameplay with it as well. It's one of my favorites next to Tiny Living. Oh, a question. Would you guys be interested in seeing my kind of like pack tier list? Because if you would, in the next few weeks, I'll make a video. I'll make a video on my kind of like ranking all of the Sims 4 packs in a tier list. Let me know if you would, if that's something that you would like to see. And I'll get to it. I will get to it. So because we've used this, I think this would look smashing in here. But I would like to pop in a bit more yellow in here as well. So... Do we have a yellow tone? Oh, we do. Oh, that's kind of like, yes. Kind of vibing with that. I might change the color of the curtains though. Let's have a little look through, see what we can find here. We have got a bit of red going on here. So it might be nice to bring in a bit of red into this room as well. That's cute. I like it. The wallpaper's staying the same because I think it's smashing. <laughs> so I'm going to use it. All right, breath, guys. I think I'm coming down with something. Oh, for God's sake. I do think I'm coming down with something. You know when you can just feel your bones just starting to like, you know, get that ache. That's what's starting with me, loves. And I'm not vibing with it. I'm really not. Very much not indeed. I think I'm going to put the wardrobe directly opposite the bed. Maybe here. Oh, do you know what I could do? I could move this over. Make better use of the space, Aiden. Bring this over here a touch. There's definitely going to be enough room for... Dolores to get past here and I think in this corner would be a nice place for a plant 
Yeah, I'm going to vibe with that. Okay, so I do need a chair. I need a chair for here. Um, and I think I want to bring a bit more gold into this room too. So let me find a nice chair. Now, I tried a gold one. I've tried a gold one using the Vintage Glamour chair. Um, but I think I, prefer, I think I want to use a bit more red in here, you know. I think that just kind of reflects into the room a bit better than the gold. Gold. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm going to use the red chair instead. Yes, I am. And I think what I want to do, again, getting that glamour into here, is use that tray of vintage goodies and flop this into this room as well. And I hate the fact that this never fits on here perfectly unless you do that. And I kind of like the pop of pink as well. Let me see what just... Let's just have a little goosey go at the other colours as well. But I think I'm going to stick with that pop of pink. Oh, unless we just go... No, I want colour. I want colour. And I think Dolores would want colour in here as well. Nice bit of perfumes going on there. Stunning. And what I'm going to do is filter down to the high school years and go into the clutter because they've got some lovely like makeup clutter in here like this oh i'm not vibing with that in here there we go i've sized it down though because it was a bit big it wasn't really fitting on there well oh yes yes i'm into that and i think what i'll do here is put down a kind of fake laundry basket on the side here because we'll just pretend that this like um, apartment building has got their own kind of like laundry rooms. Do you know what I mean? So I think that's what I'll do. And for some of them, I might even like put out some washing machines onto like the hallways or something. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do there. Look, that door's gone weird. Love that trick. Thank you so much for letting me know about that because I had no bloody idea, darlings. No, I did not. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to put down a little fake laundry basket. Um, do you come in any colours? I mean, the white looks great, so we'll stick with the white. And I'll flop you into this little edge here, my love. Right into there. Oh, I'm for that. Yes, that's gorgeous. And this is screaming out for a plant over on this side as well. So I think I'm going to get a nice big leafy boy in here. There we go. I'm going to use that one there. Again, just to reflect on a bit of the red being in the room. So I've put some red on the leaves as well. Oh, vibing, vibing. Now there's a lot of space up here. There is a lot of space, like next to the bed. Um, so I think I want to do like a little armchair moment, maybe over on this side. Maybe this is a place where uh, Dolores likes to come and have a little read by herself or something. So maybe even get in a bookcase in this room as well. Um, so let me pull out a few objects, including a rug and stuff, um, and we'll place it around together. Now, I've pulled out a lot of gorgeous things that I just think would look great in this room. So we're going to use these little side tables, which is from the high school pack as well. The high school pack is coming in really handy with this apartment. It really, really is. So I'm going to use two of these down here. On one of them, I'm going to put up this tray here, just to bring in a bit of that red again. Also some candle moments and the books. I reckon Dolores loves a read. Um, and I've bought in this little lantern as well from what, my wedding stories, I think. And I think I'm going to put that one on the other side. Um, I'm going to use this bookcase. This bookcase from the high school pack as well. Again, reflecting on Dolores' personality with all of those colours, including this tapestry above it. I just thought those colours, again just helped in with this room the rug i think is great little that pop of yellow um i'm gonna bring up this here uh this little like wicker kind of chair i just think will look great in this room and also some plants up on this corner edge here that i just think again would look great in this room it, it's probably gonna like go into the net curtain a little bit but we're not going to let that come between us loves oh i think that looks absolutely magical and i think some trinkety bits just on top here in here maybe a nice vase or something and i'm also going to get out a little book for this um the side table over here as well i think that would just look great uh so let me go and grab that and i think that would just be the the cherry on top so pulled out a few final little touches just to bring this room together gorgeously some tissues a little vase her late husband moving on <laughs> a couple of books and a little 
um, voice assistant as well. Uh, so what was it called again? A Lindsay. We'll call it a Stacy. So I think that room is done. I really like the bedroom. I think it's really, really sweet. I definitely enjoy the colours and stuff in there. It's just vibrant. It definitely speaks uh, Dolores to me. And I'm kind of vibing with it. So moving on to this bedroom now. So with Deja's room, as I said, I do want it to be overcrowded. I kind of want it to look like she hasn't really unpacked properly yet. So everything's going to be everywhere. It's going to be a little bit messy. She's kind of in turmoil in her head at the minute about what she's doing with her life, where she's going. So I kind of want that to reflect in her room as well. So first off, we're going to give her a double bed. I'm going to say that she bought in this bed, as I said, from her last apartment with her partner. So we're going to, we need to find the perfect bed first. I think we're going to go for this one from Island Living in this swatch. Now, I don't necessarily want the furniture to kind of match in with this room just to kind of get across that idea that it's not her kind of like permanent residence. She has literally just moved in. So the furniture is probably going to be a bit mismatchy. Maybe Deja's uh, apartment was a little bit more kind of, I don't know, Polynesian inspired um, because of her travels and stuff with her ex-partner. Uh, and that's where she kind of fell in love with their furniture and stuff. So maybe we'll mix a lot of that in here too. Yes, we will. Now, between the last clip on this one, I had to go and eat some stew, loves. We, well, I say we. No, it was a we. It was a we effort. Me and Tom cooked the most amazing stew yesterday. It's stew season, loves. I love a stew. <gasps> and that one was absolutely stunningly beautiful. If I do say so myself. Um... Um, and I was just, because I'm feeling a little bit poorly, <laughs> I was like, I need some food. I need some food. So I went and ate <laughs> a stew with loads of crusty bread before the, <laughs> in between the last two clips, which is quite hilarious, actually. Um, so yeah, little note for you there. You wouldn't have su suspected a thing, apart from maybe like a big piece of carrot or potato hanging in my moustache. Um, no, I'm not that way. I'm, I'm quite a good eater. Uh, what am I talking about? I have no idea. No idea whatsoever. So I'm thinking up here. Getting in some suitcases. Again, just to act like, you know. Can we, is that the right height for you? Oh, it is. Yes. I mean, you can't go up one more. It's fine. That is absolutely fine. I'm going to choose some bright colours though. Um. Oh, yeah. Maybe we'll get you in. We'll get those in again like her mum she loves the bright color she's all for it maybe weirdly here a floor lamp from the living room that she bought and she was like i'm fucking taking that with me when i leave and she did and i don't blame her you know oh god some of the things that i left when i left my ex all those years ago i wish i took with me but when you're in that situation don't you think you just want to get out of it you know what i mean and i was like you know what fucking keep it i'm off <laughs> I'm off, love. What the hell's that? Never seen that in my life. No idea. Okay. Um, floor lamp, though. Oh, maybe this. <laughs> maybe this big dragon floor lamp. No, not that one. Let me find one. <laughs> We're going to go for this one here from the Maximalist pack. <laughs> Again, I kind of want things to look like it's been crammed in. And I think that one there does a really good job of that. So I'm definitely going to do that. Yes, I am. Now, I thought a really good way of kind of making it look like we haven't really, or she hasn't unpacked properly, is maybe to use that pretentious pile of canvases. So it kind of looks, again, like she hasn't unpacked. Oh my God. A self-portrait as well. <gasps> a self-portrait. Maybe... Her ex was like an artist and that is a portrait that he did with her, but she loves it too much to let go of it. It makes her feel empowered. She's having that. I'm for that vibe. I really am. Yes. So we're going to do that. Now, I did see those other wall leaning ones um, up here somewhere. Where are you? Here they are. But what I was thinking of these is sizing them down. Definitely pulling these upwards like this. And almost like tucking them in behind these suitcases here. I may have to drag that out slightly. That's fine. That can kind of like balance over the edge. Again, making it look like we're just cramming everything in here the best that we possibly can. 
Uh, I don't actually mind that um, pattern in here, but let's have a look at the other ones anyway. Not you. Oh, that one's nice too. Um, not really the vibe. Oh, that one's nice. Yeah, I like that one. Let's put that one there in here. Oh, yes. And then I'm thinking a storage box up here as well. Let's put a little home. Here we go. We're going to size this one down though. And this is probably going to sit in front of this uh, painting pile. But we're going to do it anyway. Because I just think it would be smashing. Yeah. Yes, I do. Uh, bring you down a little bit more, my love. Oh, that is... That will need maybe... No, it doesn't need to be risen. It's fine. I can just look like it's a smaller one. Oh, God. It's very big, though, isn't it? Let me size you down again. Can I lift you up one more without you being an absolute? Yes, we can. Well, we'll do that. Oh, yes. Oh, they're floating. I didn't even realise that. How dare you? How? How dare you? In the words of Greta. Yeah, I'm for that. I'm for that. Anyway, I don't mean to take the piss out of Greta. She's doing wonderful things for this earth. Um, much more than can be said for other people, you know? Maybe tissues, because I reckon she's still trying to get over him. So she still maybe has a little cry in bed at night. Oh, that makes me feel... That makes me feel sad. Love, I've been there. I've been there, loves, and I'm sure we all have in this community. So I know how you feel, darling, but don't you worry. You're going to get over them. I promise you that, my sweet. Now, I'm thinking a small love seat in here. Maybe, again, something that she found in could be a flea market that she loved and... She didn't want to leave behind, so she took it with her. Maybe, like, something from the Paranormal pack would look good. Not in this colour. I think we need to, like, be a bit more muted with the colour. Again, I'm not trying to blend it into this room. But I do like those greeny colourways. And they do kind of blend in. Well, not that one. That one there. Kind of blends into the room quite nicely. Yes, we'll do that. We'll flop you to there. Just like that. We'll flop you down to there. Maybe, mm, maybe a spare guitar as well or something. That could be a good idea. She has got one in her inventory as well, but maybe another one. Like just a like plain guitar. We'll do that too. I'm going to pop you down by the side here. Let's pull you out a bit though, because you're going to be digging into that painting pile there. Yep, vibing with that, definitely. I'm thinking big wardrobe here. Again... It doesn't have to blend in with the aesthetics of this room. I just want a nice big wardrobe in this um, for her. You know, even though these are really nice, the smaller ones. We need to go bigger than that. Uh, let me have a little think. We're going to go for this wardrobe here. We'll go for this wardrobe here. And I've tucked it in behind uh, the love seat. But I've also put some clothes here. Maybe in haste she's trying to look for something and, the, and all the clothes are on the floor and she's just left it she's not in that headspace to try and sort all of that business out just yet so i'm kind of vibing with that i very much am now i was feeling hmm i think it came with the high school years didn't it so can we just have a little is it in decorations where's that like pile of oh here it is i was thinking maybe putting this on top of here as well. Is that floating? That's floating. If I bring it down one more, it does go slightly into the sofa, but it's fine. You know, that just tells me a story that she hasn't like got enough room maybe to squeeze all of that in places. <gasps> oh, I'm vibing with this. Now, as I said last time, I definitely see her having some kind of desk. I really do. Oh, that would be great. Oh, yes. That would be really cool actually in this room. Um, not so much in the pink, though. I think we might need to go a bit more muted. Um, oh, God, that's going to be hard. That's going to be hard with... Oh, no, that's not too bad, actually. That will kind of work, I think. Yes, we'll do that. Uh, because she kind of does mixing, um, records all of her music and stuff. Now, I know that they can't do it on the PCs, but just for storyline purposes, we're going to do it that way. Yes, we are. Right, I'm going to flop. give you a little laundry basket as well. In fact, we'll keep it... We'll keep the colour white. Um, that fits in there fine. I'm going to shuffle you just a little bit. Shuffle you. You're not cutting in too much there. No? Okay. And then what I want to do is give them, give her a PC. <clears throat> or maybe, maybe even a laptop. Mm, 
No, do you know what? I'm going to give her this one. I'm going to give her this, but I'm going to do it in a bit more of a lighter aesthetic. There we go. Because maybe she records her singing online. Kind of like that vibe for her. Yes, we'll do that. We'll definitely do that. And we'll give her a really nice chair as well. Ooh, this would kind of vibe, really. Let me go slightly darker with a green, like this green. Oh, yes. We'll give her this kind of vibe here. Okay, and I'm still thinking she needs some, like, kind of moving boxes as well. So I think what I'm going to do... Can I keep you at that size and pop you up on the uh, laundry basket here? It might be a bit big, but I'm going to trial it. That is nowhere near that laundry basket, Aiden. So get down there, please. Thank you. I think we're going to do this. Again, flopping that there. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, more moving in stuff. Definitely want to clutter this bit up here. So I'm thinking maybe we could get in like a... Oh, really? There's no... There's no... There is no snap point up on that massive shelf right there. Right, I'm just going to fill up these snap points here and I'm going to put it up there, my bloody self. There's like 20 here. Right. Um... Let's flop you up here then. And I bet you any money now you're not... Oh, no, no, I'll take that back. No, I'm not going to take that back because you don't fit up here. You absolute piece of shit. Right, what I need is the OMSP shelf. Let me just laden this shelf up with bits and trinkets. And there we go. I've ladened it up with a few little bits and bobs here. Uh, again, to just play a pay a story to her kind of like reasons for living at her mum's at the minute. So... I reckon, as I said, this is where she records her music. She does a lot of, like, videos and stuff online. These are, like, songs that she's written just in the past three weeks or a couple months since she's been at, back at her mum's. She is laden with stuff inside emotionally. Now, flowers from her mum to try and cheer her up a little bit. I think that's the way forward. I have gave her a little um, Stacey... Uh, voice assistant thing some succulent some bits and bobs some makeup again like her mum she likes to like look after herself and make her just just feel better you know um kind of feeling that and then over here i gave her some like candles and crystals as well maybe she's kind of looking into that just to be fill herself up again and make her make her love herself once again uh, stop it Aiden. i'm going to cry i will cry we're going to move that door along a little bit more there because what I would like to try and do is fit in a little mirror over on this side. Um, maybe we could go for that. No, that's just going to be a bit weird having that in here, isn't it? I do want it to be a wall mirror, but all of the wall mirrors are quite large. So maybe I'll just go for like one of the kind of base gamey ones i mean no look how high that is what's the point you know we're gonna go for you we're gonna flop you into there instead i think that just room just tells the story it's kind of like a bit full a bit cluttered not well organized at all just yet um but she doesn't see herself living with her mum forever you know vibing with that loves absolutely vibing also got a rug out as well i forgot to even mention that um, kind of here for it. Kind of here for it. So I think lastly, and it is lastly, moving on to finish this apartment, we are going to furnish the bathroom. Okay, so this is a really nice size bathroom as well. Uh, so we can definitely get a shower and maybe even a couple of sinks in here too. Because I could do like the bath um, and oh, maybe, maybe not two sinks. I mean, it doesn't really need two sinks, but it would have been nice. No, we're just going to do, we're going to do a, uh, one sink because of the sink i've got in mind is that bloody my favorite sink at the minute the one from the high school pack i just absolutely love it again we're gonna try and fit in with a kind of like art deco vibe in this bathroom because of the tiles i'm just like inspired by them i really am Do you know what i think let me get we're gonna need to get a shower out first and i think i might go for like a wet room kind of like style shower I guess we could do two sinks on that side and a toilet there. <gasps> Vibing. We're doing it. We're going to do two sinks and it's going to be absolutely spectacular, darlings. We're going to do two sinks there and there. I can put up a little window screen there as well. And then we can fit a toilet in on this side too. 
toilet. I'm going to use that old Victorian-esque one, I think. Not that one, the other one. Uh, and I'm going to flop you into the here like this. Now, there is no windows in this bathroom. So what I probably need to do is put in a ventilation moment going into the lift shaft there. Can I put one on the other side? No. Damn you. So farts and wee smells are prolific in this lift and no one can understand why. Um, and it's because all of the vents from all of the apartments go straight into the lift shaft. <laughs> and that, my loves, is the absolute story. Yes, it is. Right, I need to filter for a snowy escape wherever you are. Why can I not see you? There you are. Snowy escape. And I really want to get out that screen, this one. Uh, can we have like, oh, that color goes really well with the tiles. Oh, we're doing it. Yes. So that kind of acts as like a little separation from the shower then. <gasps> oh, I'm vibing with that, loves. Absolutely vibing with that. I really, really am. Back into the bathroom. Oh, you can come and join the party as well, my sweetheart. I'm going to flop you up here. I hope that you don't mind. I'm going to use that one though, because it's got gold on it, darling. Yes, I'm for it. And then let's get rid of Snowy Escape. Let's get rid of Snowy Escape. And we're going to put a little toilet roll on this side here. That's the wrong colour. I mean, that one's not great either. We're just going to go for that one. And yes, the toilet roll is on a different way. I don't really care what way the toilet roll goes on, to be honest. I've got bigger things to worry about than that. Do you know what I mean? So many people around the world make all the tiny little things bother them. And you shouldn't. Water off of a duck's back, darling. That's what I say. Now, it doesn't really make sense having a plant in here, but I'm going to anyway. Because it's, you know, it's just going to be gorgeous having a lovely plant in here. I'm going to go for a different one, though. I think I'm going to go for the... Maybe not you. Maybe we could go a bit more that colour because it blends in with the tiles nicely. Maybe this is like one of those plants that don't need a lot of light or natural light. A pothos. I love a pothos. That's what you can see in the back there just above my head. Love a pothos. And once I've um, shuffled my uh, office and stuff around, I'm going to definitely be getting some more plants for this room because I want to go a bit more for a plant boy vibe in this office. Especially with the colour that I'm painting the walls. We're going for like a sage green in here. Um... Yeah, it's going to be great. I can't wait. And then a couple of mirrors. I'm uh, whiffling on about crap again, aren't I, darlings? Um, yeah, those will do. We're going to do two of these. One, two, three, four. There we go. So, one, two, three, four. And a five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, and four. Calm it down. Abs absolutely calm yourself down, please. Right, this one, this one. Uh, I mean, I don't really like them all. Oh, that one there's a bit better. We'll flop one of these up either side here. Beautiful. Yes. Vibing. Oh, I'm very much into this bathroom. And I think the only place really that I can put a towel is here. So that's what I'm going to do. And I think I might. Can I use you in here? I don't know. No, you're a bit ugly, aren't you, love? Not for this room. I think we'll go for the base game one. Um, I'm not going to choose that colour. Uh, towel, though. I think I'm just going to go for a fresh white. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm vibing in here, loves. What a nice bathroom, if I do say so, so, so myself. And I think I'm going to use the go-to favourite and get this rug in here as well. Uh, I'm going to flop you to about there, my dear. Oh, yes. Well, we're done, loves. We are done with the apartment. Let's have a little walkthrough, shall we? Let's have a little walkthrough and see what we've got going on here then. So you come through this way, obviously, because it is the door. Into the main entrance. Into the main entrance hall. Yesterday, obviously, what we did was the kitchen and also the living area as well it looks really nice near when the fire is lit you can get that like warm glow coming through and i'm very much vibing <gasps> how dare you 
Thanks for letting me know about that, loves. I'm absolutely made up with that new thing. <laughs> there we go. Vibing in here. They've got everything that they would need. Uh, I might put a bunch of flowers out on this table, actually. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that off of camera. Um, yeah. Gorgeous little hangout space for both of them. Oh, I'm for it. I really am. Now into Dolores' bedroom. Oh, I love her bedroom. I must admit, I'm very much into Dolores' bedroom. I think that's so cute. Oh, that'll make a lovely thumbnail as well, that. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm vibing in here. Dolores has absolutely made up with her new bedroom. She really, really is. Uh, and then obviously we've got Deja. How many times am I going to say obviously? I think I've said it about 20 times this playthrough. Stop it. And then we've got uh, Deja's bedroom here, which again, as I said, is just a little bit chaotic, a little bit unpacked, unfinished, mismatch of styles and furnitures. And <sighs> it's not a good space for her psyche. She needs to... She needs to, I'm going to put something up there as well, I think. Maybe like the the suitcase with the books. I think I'll pop that up there. But yeah, maybe she needs to just, you know, sort her space out. Maybe sell a few bits or put stuff in storage just to make her living space a little bit more healthier, you know? And then into the bathroom as well. So we've gone for this like sort of art deco vibe in here. Vibing with this bathroom. I really, really like it. The shocking thing about... Sam Marshuno is you're going to see me furnishing all of the bathrooms, loves. I know, shocking, because it never us I never usually do that. Not at all. I will give you one final look as well of the floor plan in case you guys want to copy it for this apartment. Um, but we're done. We are done with our first apartment. I'll show you where we're going next. So just over the way from their apartment, we're going to be furnishing this one here next. I definitely want to make this a three-bedroom apartment as well um, for the family that are moving in. Uh, there's going to be, I think there's going to be about a family of four living in here. So maybe even, or maybe a family of three, a family of four. I've got an idea, a storyline for these. They are going to be the love interest from De both Deja and Dolores living in this apartment. Not so much Deja at the minute. Deja's just slowly getting over her bad breakup. But I reckon she's going to confide in the guy who lives in here because they've known each other for a very long time. And they've realised that they are absolutely in love with each other. I'm going to cry. But I think that's what we're going to do there. Yes, we are indeed. So I'll be back with that next week. And what I'm going to do for this one here as well is show you guys how I figure out a floor plan too. So I'm going to be showing you how I figure out a floor plan for this one. Yes, I am. Anyway, I'm going to leave you now. Thank you so much for watching. I am live on Twitch tonight building Wednesday Adam's house as a grown-up in The Sims 4 if you do want to come along. And I will be back tomorrow with a roasting and renovation video of one of my older builds. Uh, but that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.